YouTube, Lost here with another brief tutorial, this time on Galacticraft, a new mod that's included in the new Techit mod pack. OK, first up, you will be needing the NASA workbench, which will require a 3x3 area. There we are. And if you go into its inventory, this is where you'll be able to create your spaceships. OK, to create a spaceship, you will need a nose cone, 8 heavy duty plating, one rocket engine and four rocket fins. Now I won't show you the recipes for each and every part of these as they're all available in NEI, but this will give you your spaceship. And if you wanted to break and replace your NASA workbench here, you must hit the bottom box. There we go, that one. Okay. Now your spaceship will not put down on its own. It needs to go on a launch pad which is, again it's a 3x3, three three. this is a multi-block excuse me a moment yep, multi-block like so and then you can place your spaceship on there like that it's got a window on one side typical, the last side I look at right, now to go into your spaceship just right click on it and there you are, you would be ready for launch but if you press F, you will see that there is no fuel. Now to fill it up, you right click to get out again, and you will be needing a fuel loader. And the fuel loader needs to be touching the launch pad anywhere around its outside edge. If we go for there, and if you look inside, you can place buckets of fuel here, and this will fill up this little uh, bit there. Now it takes two buckets of fuel, and it's build craft fuel, so refined oil. Um, it will take two buckets to fully fill the rocket, but it will also require power. And it's going to require build craft power, obviously. In this case, I'm going to use a redstone energy cell, but it will accept energy from any engine apart from the redstone engine. And it's got its power now. You click load fuel, and if we go back inside the rocket and press F, you'll see that it's starting to fill up now slowly. While we wait for this beast to fill up, we should go on ahead and arrange the rest of our equipment that we need. So we will be needing to gather oxygen to fill our tanks so we can breathe on another planet. For this you will be needing an oxygen collector and some available trees. Obviously if you're on the moon you will need to grow the trees yourself. You place your oxygen collector down. Now it's, yep, it's already gathering. You see these particles? That's it gathering oxygen. It will require power though to move the oxygen elsewhere and it does that but via an oxygen pipe which connects to the black square on the side there. And then the oxygen will be getting moved to the oxygen compressor. Typical. But you can rotate it with an omni tool. There we go, so that's all connected. It's not getting any oxygen though because it's obviously not being pumped. Now for this purpose we'll be using the same redstone energy cell. go it has power and it's outputting air no valid oxygen tank but it does have oxygen now there are three different sizes of oxygen tank you've got the light the medium and the heavy in this example we'll use the light one because it's faster you place it in this slot down here and it will start to fill up it is a very slow process especially if you're using the larger tanks I can demonstrate this holds 270. It's going to take an awful long time to fill one of those up, so you'll be wanting to do this before you actually plan on heading off. Okay, finally, before we take off, we'll be needing to prepare our, our equipment. Here's two heavy oxygen tanks that I've prepared earlier from NEI. <laughs> uh, you will also be needing an oxygen mask, an oxygen gear, and a parachute. Trust me, you can take off without a parachute, but you will be wanting one. Okay, and then finally, 
for those of you on a server who do have uh, Mistcraft and Dimensional Doors uh, enabled, some of you won't if you're playing in multiplayer, Mistcraft books and Dimensional Doors do work between planets. So we'll make two of those and we need to set a rift. So if we were to right click there, I'm not, if you want to know more about Dimensional Doors check out my other tutorial, but we've just set a rift point here. Now we should be good to go. If we press F, yep the fuel is full, so space to launch and it will count down. I won't bore you with the whole flight and it's very noisy so I'll catch up with you in a moment. OK, when you get out of Earth's atmosphere, or Minecraftia's atmosphere, you'll come to this screen. Now you have the option here of creating a space station, but you will need these resources you see on the side there. Um, and you can select whether to go back to the overworld or whether to fly to the moon. Well, the moon, obviously, so here we go. Here's our lunar lander. Now you will need to press space, otherwise you're going to die when you hit the ground, which isn't good. If you slow it down too much, it takes an awful long time. There we go. And we are on the moon. Now, I'm not going to explore too much. I shall leave that up to you, because it would take all the fun out of it if you knew exactly what you are going to find. But there is much lower gravity on the moon, and you do leave footprints, which is rather cool. But let's get back on with the tutorial, and we'll show you what to do when you get here. Okay, first thing you're going to do after you've had a little bit of an explore is get some oxygen production back up again. Now to do this, it's the same as it is on uh, back on the overworld, but you will need to get a an oxygen collector going with some saplings. Okay, so place down your oxygen collector again as per usual. Rotate it so you've got the black side facing where you need it and then have your uh, pipe coming out. And at the other end, instead of using an oxygen compressor, you'll be wanting an oxygen bubble distributor. There we go. And again, this will be needing some power, the same as all of the other items. go and this should yep yeah, there we go it's starting to make an oxygen bubble now the oxygen bubble will depend or well, the size will depend entirely on how much oxygen you're collecting whether you're using one or two collectors or even more obviously it's going to re start requiring vastly greater amounts of power the more you're collecting also the leaves on trees will decay if their oxygen is being collected so you're going to have to have to keep replanting trees in order to maintain a stable environment but you can take off your oxygen tanks now because you don't need them but if outside your bubble you'll automatically start taking damage as you can see there although it is rather slow you will die but there we are safe now I'm not going to cover the um, oxygen sealers and things for your sealed bases because they're a little bit buggy in this version of Minecraft but hopefully when tech it updates to 1.52 that will all be fixed OK, before we head off and create a space station, let's just set up our linking books or our doorways. So this one will take us to the overworld now. And in theory... Oh, I need an ender pearl. Excuse me. There we go, ender pearl in, in inventory. And we created a rift. Now this rift should link us back to the overworld, which is fantastic, as should this linking book. But before we do that, let's just create a couple of linking books back here. OK. So we can either go through this door, uh, th this linking book. Or we can go through this door. There we go. So we have two, two ways of getting to and from the moon now say having to fly every time. OK, so next off, let's go make ourselves a space station. We're needing to right click in this thing and grab our rocket and our launch pad back and some fuel. And same thing goes before. Launch pad is a 3x3. Three three. Pop
pop the rocket down on top. Now as you can see this is going to require refueling again. We've got the fuel but you will be needing some energy and a fuel loader to put the fuel back in again. So same as before, pop your fuel loader down next to the launch pad, give it some power, add the fuel cell and click load fuel. Then it's just a waiting game. Okay, there we are. We're all fu fueled up again. Now the things you'll need to create your space station, in the new tech it pack at least, is a redstone reception coil, 8 copper ingots, 16 tin ingots, and 24 invar. Now if we press space and head off again, leaving, leaving the moon surface takes longer. I'll be back in a minute. OK, when you get back to this menu, you can now click on the option to create a space station. As you can see, everything's lit up in green because I have all of those items in my inventory. Now, if you click on create space station, it shall, as you see here, and I'm the owner, and I'll be the only person who can get to the station. So we select that and click on send to dimension. And there we are. We're on our very own space station, small though it is. And in this chest over here we've got our rocket and some fuel and an already assembled launch pad. Now you can obviously expand on these however you wish, but that is about it. So we'll set up our linking books again quickly. One there, one there, one for the moon, one for the overworld, and then we can create two more. So now we can... oh did that work? It didn't. Now we can link our space station, our moon base, and our base on the overworld all together nicely, so we don't need to fly between them. But going back down to Earth in a rocket would take some time. You could, however, just jump onto it, because it's infinitely more fun. See you when we get down.